are annoying in his way. But Falco versus Pac-Man yep. is actually a very painful experience yeah. for Pac-Man. Because it's not often that a character has access to a tool like Falco's Reflect and such a consistent advantage state to boot, but mm -hmm. just having this pressure, just the thought of having a Reflect just means Sinji has to play completely different gameplay. You know, he has to be pulling out bonus boots early, he has to be using them in short little quick ranges, he can't be going for ridiculous setups because Hilde can easily turn those around right back at him and look at this platform coverage from Tilde just relentless. List. Wow. Yeah, and beyond just the fruit stuff you're talking about before, there's also the problem that, you know, Pac-Man's usually pretty okay with boxing with people out of shield and stuff. You can't do that against Falco. If you make a mistake directly above Falco, you're taking an up tilt, or you're taking one of these forwarders out of shield. Like it's just it's just such free damage for Falco to put on. Sinji has to like be the master wow. of the punish game in order to win this set. That was such an interesting up B as well because Sinji was in no position to be able to punish that and that was an excellent up smash. That was menacing, right? Like Falco just kicks the hell out of you. Just using the two reflectors and then the immediate up smash, that's like, that's the absolute vibe check. Like you are not mashing on me. You're trying so hard to get in. I'm having none of that. That is a not exactly the best idea though to up B in center stage. So yeah, that's gonna I'm give Sinji really KO. Sure. You know, until they was looking for it, it's possible it was a misinput, but maybe you just like so desperate to land. Either way, Sinji able to clean it up just a little bit. It is not often again that you see like such a fast paced match happening with Sinji, but you know, this is what happens. Look at that Sinji trying to force his regular game plan, but Tilde just slapping him in the face for it, literally with yeah. his reflect. And what's crazy is that that whole thing, you, you have to respect that. You really can't do much of anything about trying to box out that down B. You have to respect that when you're in that range. If you're Sinji because it comes out so fast, it beats out everything. Oh that gosh. time he did it twice trying to vibe check him, check him again, but if he noticed that, I he think it still came him. out the first time though, like because it's still active when the reflector is like coming back. That's mm -hmm. like when the bell was reflected, but Tilde was already buffered in the second one, hence why he couldn't get like a bigger follow up off of it. That was, um, wow. I mean, I mean, that move just shuts down so much of Pac Man's kit. Oh my god, that forwarder actually not only stopping the fruit, but forcing him to have to respect it a bit longer than getting hit anyways. This is still very close though, all things considered, because we can talk about how painful this matchup experience is for Pac-Man, but Sinji's been able to actually hold his own, keep this percent, uh, that time, yeah, he's it's he like understands pick who in every time. It's so disrespectful. It's like it's like what are you what are you gonna do, buddy? You're gonna throw something at me? You're gonna throw an apple at me? Absolutely not. It slaps you to oh. face for it. And what a beautiful <laughs> down it as well. Wow, just caught Sinji's trajectory immaculately. Like Tilde is just so so good at consistently edge guarding. He, he will make it so if you make one mistake, a down air is coming, a drag uh, a drag down forward air, a jump read forward air. It's just so good. But that back air off the bell will take it. We are at one stock apiece here, and I have got to give a lot of credit to the way Sinji's playing right now because this matchup is atrocious, and he's doing so well handling it right now. Yeah, he's you know just doing a really good job of sort of making the most out of Pac-Man's boxing tools. Really making more use out of four leader, out of dash attack. But more importantly, we're seeing the way that Sinji is actually able to get a lot of edge guard attempts on Tilde, right? You know, really making use out of just like how Falco um, is just so exploitable off stage and in the corner. Tilde trying to get some bounces, not able to get anything off of that downer, but wow, this is still anybody's game. Yeah, very much so. Another one of those downers into a back air or an up tilt into back airs could take it out. You see, he's looking for the KO option right there. There it is, finally uh, finds it, and that's game one. Something that I really admire about Tilde's play is that he knows his pre-sent follow-ups, he knows his windows, he knows mm -hmm. exactly, and, and he knows how to do it with every single tool that Falco has. He knows how to do it off of a throw, he knows how to do it off of a down air, he knows how to do it off of a falling up air, he knows how to do it off of an up tilt, he knows how to do it off of a down tilt. Yep. You have to look out for so many different options from Tilde if you want to avoid one of his kill confirms, because he knows them like the back of his hand. I still love that setup so much. You know what else is so crazy about Tilde? Is that if you don't understand the fake stuff, all of the things that aren't real when you're fighting Falco, oh, he will make you pay. It's just the way that he utilizes mix-ups and just beating people out who don't understand that that up tilt mix-up might not be real and they just get destroyed. Sinji definitely seems to understand it, but even so, even knowing that still 
keeping it close but losing that game one. Fushu, so going into game number two, they're going to be opting to go for Kalos. Um, you know, this is definitely going to give Sinji a little bit more space as well. Um, not entirely sure what he's looking for here, but, you know, something that Tilde really likes to do, he likes to go for a lot of really creative low recovery mix-ups, going under the stage of, like, Smash Hill Town and City. Um, so that's obviously just going to be an option, no longer available to him here. Yeah, I actually like this stage pick too because it gives uh, it, it gives Sinji the ability to not only like set up a bit, but if he forces Tilde into a spot where he has to recover like straight up, Tilde has to be the one to tech. He has to be the one to navigate. Granted, he can wall jump and get some extra coverage here too, but it gives him a new ledge trap gameplay uh, in edge guard that's going to make it slightly more stressful for Tilde, depending on if he actually gets caught in the first place. Mm -hmm. We know Sinji, and I noticed this in the last game as well, has been getting just like a lot of follow-ups off of Tilde neutral air dodging in disadvantage. Um, you know, although burning double jump could be so committal, you know, Tilde has to be able to mix it up a little bit, you know, make himself a little bit more difficult to catch on the ground. But now so desperate just to slap that hydrant back. Um Sinji taking that little bit of time to get a bonus who nice and ready to go. Yeah, that's, that's the toss-up on that. You continuously do that because you're trying to beat out any attempt that Sinji might maybe go in and try and push it back at you. Well, th there's no reason for Sinji to move forward while you're doing that, so, okay, I'm just going to set out my fruits to get exactly what tool I need for you right now. For sure. And right now, Tilde's just looking for any way to get something started, <laughs> but that was excellent. That was excellent. Sinji was like, what are you going to do? Reflect? A third time? A fourth time? Nope. Get cross-up roll, baby. He waited through the golden window. Tilde tunnel vision so hard, and just like that, 50% taken. Yeah, Sinji's a nut, man. Like, he's just so he's just so committed to the bit. It's like, look, I see that you're doing it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to keep going in. It's like you said, you do it three, four, five. That's fine. Eventually, I'm going to roll in and get in. And also, 54% to start the stock, too. We talk about all this about how good Falco's damage is. But Sinji has that same type of combo game when he gets a hold of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and still going to be living that down till, till they're trying to go for an edge goes there. But again, this is where Falco struggles. Oh. Oh. It's going to be getting back onto the stage, but Tilde has his angles on point. That was a lovely recovery mix-up. Uh, Sinji was just not ready for it. Yeah, that that that's good good job from Tilde, but this is getting very rough. That forward smash trade 100%. I scored the down smash, whatever that was. You go for that every single time. You walk away the victor. 143, uh, 153, even up throw, not killing just yet. Yeah. It, this is uh, this is looking uh, kind of painful. And if one of those Galaga hits, we're looking at massive damage once again. So they have to be ready and he finds it, he finds the kill, gets a couple of team bags as well, looking so confident, trying to hype himself up, uh, and big damage already, 36%, um, and Sinji just scrambling out of disadvantage. So all I'm saying is that team looking kind of cold right now, you better find yourself a very quick stock to match that pressure and that confidence. This is the type of thing Tilde does though, you see the damage goes on very fast, only taking 10%. But he you has to... enough time to blue yourself out of team, man. You can set the kettle, you know, you can <laughs> the ritual of it, blue in the leaves, watch it blue and change color, you know, and then by the time it's done, you, oh, you're like, wow, you know, totally finished half of his advantage state. Yeah, I need to ask after what else goes with T because I need to expand on that reference now. But <laughs> it's just one of those things where, like, you, you have to, if you're trying to establish confidence and get into somebody's head, you also have to be able to follow up on that. You need to have the type of mix-ups that get you that. And Tilde is fully capable of it. But looking at 60%, oh, that I'm was so cute. surprised that, that didn't confirm that it to anything. was so cute, and I would have loved to see it, but unfortunately, it just it didn't happen. Um, and right now, Tilde just jumping over it, maybe trying to wait out the hydrant and find the up throw. I don't think that was good DI from Sinji. I believe you have to DI in on Falco's up throw, so that really doesn't become a thing, and maybe more so a 50-50. But... Um, you know, till they can do this. You know, one that was so up. good too. Like I, I'm still my mouth was open like the entire time and stunned because till they has just been throwing out reflectors three to four or five times on that uh, on the hydrant just because he's not willing to go in. There's no point in going after him, and he just completely mixed uh, the Sinji there, catching him off guard with that. This is still extremely doable. This dude land directly in front of Sinji like that. Yeah, for sure, but this is such a nasty place to be in. But again, those recovery angles, all that melee experience, just like so sort of helping out Tilde here because, wow, he has like such a good understanding of like, you know, I can drift back to ledge from here. This is not the place that Sinji is covering in. He's just so on top of it. Oh, there uh, it is. The back air is going to finally it catch it. It, it. It's so menacing because in that situation, you stare it down. It's like, okay, if I stay here too long, 
am I going to get caught? Is Sinji going to run up, throw the bell down, and I die? If I mm -hmm. decide to roll in, do I get hit by the bell right away? And even with that massive jump height that Falco has, still gets caught but at the very end after he faded back in because he realized Sinji didn't budge. That's just such a scary situation. Yeah, um, honestly, like, even then, like, Sinji has established that he knows how to deal with somebody spamming Reflect against Bell, right? So mm. Tilde no longer has the luxury of throwing out that move whenever he so pleases. Sinji knows how to position himself around it, he knows how to punish you for it, he's looking for it. And as a result, Tilde just becomes so reluctant to be able to throw it out. Bell is gonna make you break Tilde in the set, honestly. Bell has been the way that Sinji has been getting these stocks. Uh, Tilde needs to find an answer. Yeah, and that this kind of plays into the same thing we were talking about earlier. Oh, that I, I love that. That was such a good. That was so good. Just completely mixing Sinji there. Well, it, it's um, it's one of those things where it's kind of like we were talking about with Falcon avoiding edge guards. When you play a character that's heavily reliant on using projectiles or traps, you have to know how to fight the, the reflector. Or you have to know how to escape. Tilde, Tilde was looking to cheat. I, I know he wanted to kill off the top somehow, but only able to get a little bit of percent. Right now, forcing Sinji into the corner. He tries to catch a dash or a jump in. Not able to find it quite yet, and they just keep on exchanging positions. Yeah, that's enormous. The fact that Sinji was able to take that away after the very explosive start. Okay, oh, there we go. Finds one downer and just the big damage. And even after getting only the soft hit, still getting a little bit more with that neutral B. The, oh, here we go. He tries to look for the reset, but still doesn't get him. You can see, you, you can definitely see the confidence difference until they start to kick in. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, and right now, Sinji just able to get a really good knuckle <laughs> for catching the mash. Closes out that sock so early, that's what you have to take advantage of. And the biggest thing about Falco is, you know, when he plays his game, he usually gets to play his game, but as soon as he's in this advantage of trying to get back onto the stage, uh, that's where he struggles. Oh, did it again, but this time DI was correct, going off to the left-hand side, avoiding getting KO'd there. But, like, Sinji is definitely repeating, like, the same thing that Tilde was doing before. It's like, all right, I know you want to swing here. I'm going to beat you out. Problem was, he tried to move a little bit too early there, caught by the back air, only taking 29% after that hit, too. So, still looking very good here in his next stop. That, that landing hitbox was just, like, so unexpected, too. And Tilde, you know, just getting so much stuggered. I love that he's attempted to be inside. What? But that's a jab lock, half smash, baby. Man died at 88! <laughs> We always want to talk about like DLC stuff. That move was one of the best blessings that Pac-Man's could have ever asked for going into this game. Uh, look, look how much knockback that sent away. It gave him stage positional advantage at like 40. It, it just, it's out there and it exists and you can't challenge it and it's disjointed. It, it does everything. It kills so early too. Oh my gosh. Tilde was looking for the pickup, wasn't able to find it with the up tilt. I love the attempt though. Oh my god, that's that's uh that's a marvelous assist I've ever seen one. That fire hydrant coming in clutch to avoid any ledge traps, that water just pushing away. Because that could have been a much scarier position for Sinji. You might have straight up died. Forward air is going to catch him at the ledge. Can Tilde close the stock out? Because oh, can he find the back air or the up air? No, he's still not gonna get it. Yeah, no, not quite, but that is gonna be the spike to be able to take it. And once again, Tilde is back in the running for it. But Sinji, you, you know how he is. He can find an F smash whenever he so pleases. So the way that he is fishing right now on the ground, he's maybe trying to bait out a down B attempt from mm -hmm. Tilde. He is not biting. Yeah, Sinji trying to get himself up. There it is. There's the bell. So every single possible mistake you can make could be death from this point forward. So now Tilde is only a few strings away. And good job utilizing the trampoline to not get hard punished there. Oh, excellent double jump back. Not going to be scooped up by it anytime soon. And right now, this is such a scary position and excellent tech. But Sinji, we've already established like... Oh, <gasps> That that animation of the reflected bell on Pac-Man is one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. But oh yeah, now Sinji is looking for a mistake. He's just walking around, trying to get him to walk in towards him so he can maybe force smash or jump read with a back air. Uh, when uh, this is like so stressful. He wants it. Like uh, every single Pac-Man, they start going to grab your shield, they start dashing in and out. We want it. But find the drop down back here, and that is going to be 2-1 right now, Tilde, despite starting off the set so confidently. I love the way that Sinji has just adapted, started using less bonus food, started using less aggressive hydrant, and baited out all of these reflectors this game so far. Tilde has a lot of adjustments to make. You can see just, like, Sinji is just so good 
at when he's in your head at making you kind of play not, i won't say necessarily stupid but making you act when you really don't want to because he just kept tapping shield forcing the shield to go lower so he could hopefully get that down air uh shield poke onto falco but even after missing that still knew where exactly where Tilde was gonna go and just kept pressuring it's so ridiculous to fight against Sinji when you're in that position yeah um honestly like he holds on to his lead so well you know um but going into the next game what do you what do you think Tilde should be doing better because I'm at a bit of a loss here to be completely honest, as simple as it is, the punish game has to be on point because Tilde has gotten some damage, but he hasn't been able to keep it up. Mm -hmm. Like, he'll he'll get some good damage, but then Sinji gets away fast enough. He hasn't been able to stay in Sinji's face the way that he was in that game one. And that is really hard to do, but he has to do it. He has to prevent Sinji sure. from getting set up, get massive punishes, and refuse to let Sinji get any type of camp get going. Because honestly, all these reflects were working great at the start, but they're not doing much of anything right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you just have to be able to adjust to the you know the changes that Pac-Man makes once he starts boxing. You have to t you know really take advantage of the fact that like you know some of them are more safe on shield than others, but the biggest issue with them is that the hitboxes can be quite stubby. But Tilde, you know, just as you mentioned, his punish games are really so on point. And that's exactly oh. what I want. That's 100% what I wanted to see out of Tilde. Even it, it, like zero to deaths, we love him. But that's exactly what he needed. Needed to just make it so every single bit counted, and he kept up the advantage state after that, and didn't let Sinji get away. I mean, I mean, honestly, like Tilde just now looks unstoppable. But Sinji trying to do what he does best, which is the four little into the down and off stage. Down who just has so much base knockback. You get hit by it at that point, you know, you, you're just losing your stock so early. Um, he's just taking the time to slow the pace down a little bit, trying to maybe catch a landing from Tilde, but he's mixing his movement up so much. Yeah, you see Sinji just kind of like running in with shields, trying to keep it simple. That forward smash giving him great positioning. I still can't believe it sent him so damn far already. But till, see, Tilde hasn't been able to keep it going now because Sinji has already gotten confident enough to look at the fact that we got another sub. Thank you, Kimmy Kyle, however you say that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry, but thank you for the sub. Greatly appreciate the prime. Oh man, and, and just like Tilde just like holding on to this lead so much right now. Sinji hasn't been able to get a solid hit in, in the longest time. Wow. Yeah, honestly. Or, or, oh. I mean, it's slowly starting to happen. Sinji had an opportunity to establish I don't fear you, and it worked for a second, but now all of a sudden, Tilde is getting all the damage he needs. And if Tilde, oh, this could be a KO right here. There it is, three stocks up to one. I still never count out Sinji in these games because he's a defensive machine, but this is a perfect sure. game that Tilde needed right now. Yeah, but right now Tilde with Rage is just like another demon in of itself. As soon as he gets an up tilt and that for later, thinking he was gonna set up into attack chase, he's going to dash back and waited a little bit, but beautiful spacing on that food. Wow, it just, it just hit him, you know, right in the head. Yeah, well done, well done. Absolutely catching the high recovery. Now, at 0%, 25, you you have to be from doing exactly what Sinji is doing right now, trying to find his way, hopefully looking for a side B in early to get a forward smash, but does not get it. Mm, and right now, totally doing that same exact strategy of just slapping the high good with the reflector over and over. Sinji can't challenge that space can't go in then can't try to hit that hydro because it'll just end up shooting right back at him so he has no choice but to respect it um tries to go for the jump baits the air dodge out tries to now go for the bell at the line that move cheats it's so oh strong it, the bell setup just makes it so hard for you to want to budge because if you move too early you get hit by sinji reading a roll if you jump you possibly get hit and now 57 percent after that great start that till they had this is why you can never count out sinji but this is also why you always have to fear falco the pressure he puts on from his combo damage is crazy it's not easy for a character like falco to be able to initiate doesn't necessarily have the quickest or the most disjointed buttons but the issue is right now is just like Sinji needs to make sure he's keeping his head clear because Tilde wants that falling down and he's been looking for this since the beginning of the stock uh and and Sinji has just been shielding each time I want to say think some tomahawks you know it's crazy even though Sinji is behind a percent I actually think Sinji is the one in a better mental position right now you can see that Tilde is really hunting for this KO as you should you need to find that opening but Sinji is he not budging or falling apart. It, look yeah. at this. Now he finds the opening. He has taken it over. He is looking for a mistake, trying to catch him right there. The up smash is not going to hit. 
Yeah, the Tilde just trying to force his game plan a little bit too much now. He needs to be able to mix it up with grabs a little bit more. Forces the air dodge. No punish quite yet. Goes off so deep. Ends up hitting Pac-Man out of his side B. Oh boy. I what cannot express Tilde. how tremendously lucky that Tilde is that he was able to hit him with that uh, that up B. Because if he did it, it doesn't matter anyways. Because Sinji, like I said, definitely looked way more confident at the end and finds his way to close out that game. Tilde looks so good at the start. But once you just get to the point where Sinji just really does not fear your approach, you are in for trouble. And Sinji takes it 3-1. For sure. I mean, the biggest issue there was that like at that last stock... Um, you know, what was really apparent, Tilde was sitting on that top platform and was looking through down it every single time. Just double jump down it, landing on Sinji shield with down it. We didn't see any conditioning attempts to try to capitalize with a couple of tomahawk grabs. Mm -hmm. uh, Sinji was getting hurt with shielding. He wasn't getting hit. Yeah. He was able to inch his way back into victory. So even though Tilde did have like the kill confirm that he wanted in mind, um, you can't, you can't force it. You can only go yes. for it if you